In this video I want to take a look at the uh, use of flux coil wire and uh, the reversing of the polarity. Um, the machine that I have here, it, it, it's 25 years old, so it didn't have, it's a bit under 25 years old, maybe 20 years, 22 or 23 years old I think. But it didn't have, the, it doesn't have the facility for uh, reversing the polarity. So uh, I wanted to, I could see the, uh, the uses that that type of welding would have, you know, especially for outside and um, for uh, you know, awkward places too, you could take the gas shroud off so it would, you know, be very practical in those situations to get into a narrow gap. But uh, as I say, this machine that I have, it didn't have, it's, it's a fairly basic MIG welder and it didn't have that facility to reverse the polarity. So, uh, so I, I kind of done a bit of a botch on it to reverse the polarity. And I'm going to take a, I'm going to take the tin wire off it now and take a look at it because I'm going to sort it out now. I would still want to be able to retain the reversion of the polarity, but uh, I'm going to tidy it up now so that it's it's handier to operate. I'm going to see a way that I'm going to be able to do that. I think. Anyway, we'll take a look at the machine and we'll take the tin wire off. But this is the mirror here. You've seen it in other videos. It's a fairly simple, basic deck mirror, 130 amp. Those are all that I needed to do, you know, and. Uh, but as I say, it didn't have, there's no facility for reversing the polarity on it. So uh, I'll take the camera off now and get a look inside it. I'll show you what I did. This here is the, um, the positive wire. And uh, this is the one that goes uh, to the gun in, in, in normal circumstances. And you can see here, if you look here, you see here. I actually cut the wire so that I was able to undo it and uh, down here then we have uh, the negative and this is where I had that joined up as well. Now what I wanted to do when I wanted to reverse the polarity uh, provided I was using it that way for a long time I undo and this, these, this is just a connector that I put on myself and I would undo that connector then and I just reversed those two around and that's all it was to reverse the polarity and uh, so now I'm just going to tidy up so it's a kind of a more uh, permanent, but I'm not. I don't want to be. I don't want to have to take the tin wear off. So what I'm going to plan to do is I'm going to run them out, route them out into the side here, and I have uh, two little connectors that you'll see that I'll be able to go onto it. So I'm going to route them out into the side here, and uh, drill two holes here, and I'm going to route them out. I have a bit of extra um, lead as well, and uh, it'll put it out. It'll put it out here, and I have a bit of space there where I can operate these two connectors. Now I've disconnected this top one here, and you can see the way I would. Uh, I had a lug on it, a kind of a clamp on it, so that I was able to take it off and reverse it. I won't on that one, and I won't on this one down here as well. And uh, I'm going to take them off now, and put them through here, and reroute them, and uh, see if I can uh, get a nice tidy job. Now I've drilled two holes here as you can see. Take a look at them there. I'm going to reroute the wires through there. I'm going to route the wires through there and I'm going to clean them up with a round foil. I don't have any grommets so I'm going to clean them up with a round foil and uh, it'll be alright because it won't be getting uh, moved around that much. But uh, that's where the wires will be coming out, both the positive and the negative will be coming out there. And uh, if you look down here, this here is the wire that was originally connected up there, it's connected to the gun. Look down here you can see that this is the wire that's connected to the gun. I'm going to clean this up now, give it a bit of a vacuum. Now I have this type of connector here, which will be going back onto the machine, putting on this bit of wire here then, and I'm going to re-rip it through here. Now I've trimmed this and I've connected it up the top here, now I'm going to run it through here. Okay. This is a dense cable socket, it's the female end of it. And I'm going to put that on this end of the cable here now. Now I've connected that female one up here. And now I'm going to connect the male down to the other half of it down here. One of that one, and hopefully this should go together. I'm also going to do the same with the earth. 
so that then we'll, uh, uh, we'll be able to interchange them. Now here you can see the two connectors, the male and the female. This is the wire coming from the uh, the gun, and this is the what would have been the, the extension of it. I've brought it out here now, and with this connector now, I'll be able to join it up like that. Okay. I'm going to just do the same with the air. There's no point in showing you every bit of it. I'm going to do the same with the air here, and uh, that will give me the opportunity to be able to reverse them without having to go into the machine again. Now I'll just give you a look at this before I put the uh, tin wire back on. There's the two connectors there now. Okay. If you go around the back here, you can see there's the positive connector there. And this one here, this is the air uh, down here. Okay. Now they are reversible now because of these two connectors here. I'm just going to put the tin wire back on and uh, go look at it down. Here's the tin wire back on, and here's the two connectors. If I want to reverse them now, it's only a case of reversing them around. Simple as that. 